If you've been playing any amount of the new update for Conan Exiles Chapter 2 Age of War, you may have noticed the distinct lack of merchants here at Mechamosis. Particularly the Black Blood ones are what's going to be quite annoying to a lot of players. Even though it does mention in the patch notes that these guys aren't intended to be not here, they are meant to be here and selling all of their wares, but for some reason they're not currently here. And I've been meaning to make this video for a moment about the alternative way to get some black blood tools anyway because you know you can get some other fun stuff there it's been mildly buffed it's not technically a dungeon but if you'd like to learn come with me and i'll show you how to get some cool shit and where to get your black blood any black blood tools on the regular because you never know they even if they add them back they may still leave one day you gotta learn how to do stuff the old school way sometimes the main cave event is Binyakin Seal. There are a few caves along here that we can venture to, though you can get here quite easily through the volcano cave just up yonder or running down along the wall through along the other caves. I do advise bringing a bedroll and probably putting it here. You can also bring a horse, which will stop a lot of the knockback from these guys because they're awfully knockbacky. Some buffs, some poisons. I don't know why I have a Seth Truncheon on me currently, but this is basically what we're hunting for. And you can also get some fun things like the recipe for acid arrows here, which is a really fun arrow, especially on PvP, because not only does it poison, which is you know, fun in games unless the thralls you're trying to kill have gas masks on or the person, but it also makes the durability on the armor go down. So the gas mask won't last forever unless they happen to be wearing the Godbreaker one and then it's still going to buzz, but it's just going to take a while longer. And the only place that you can learn the recipe is within these caves, not this particular cave. We'll get to that in a moment. You can also get fun things like the Act of Violence, which is now an Executioner Axe, the Unwelcome Gift, which I've never used, but sure. And some various other things along the way plus the legendary loot key boxes that used to be here now no longer require a key so i'm going to show you where they are so you can get some fun legendary weapons so place your bedroll eat your buffs exit creative mode i like a bit of a strength build this is just something i'm messing around with i never really do meta builds unless i'm like actually playing against people who are like super sweaty then sometimes i concede instantly get knocked off the cliff try not to do that but on that note we're here at binyakin sill and there's a whole line of these jill caves essentially there are one skulls no skulls and a couple of three skulls it's funny because i think that's actually the first time that's ever happened to me and of course it would be while i'm recording skills so many skills attack these guys don't get too knocked over you can bring a thrall to help you it does help immensely they're not too tough these days though oh a nice food box you may need some spicy food here also as it can get a little cold definitely bring a light source because it, these caves are dark even in the daytime and if you bring a pick you are able to then harvest these guys for a chance to get some black blood and some hollow bone arrows you can also get the hello bone bow here without your torch because it's very dark and essentially just run straight down oh we got the one skulls are more likely to drop the black blood the black blood a lot of demon blood in fact the, i first discovered that these tools even existed when they added them into the game originally because i came here to get demon blood because i was built kind of near here oh these guys so I generally take out all these little dudes wandering around first because the guy we want is down there. And if you don't bring a torch, you can get stuck in perpetual darkness here, which sucks. You can use poison on them. Oh, they don't poison anymore. Never mind. You can no longer use poison on them. But he's going down real quick and not doing a bunch of damage to me. He's not even really knocking me back that much. And I got the black blood pick straight away. Pack him up, he will give you a legendary key also and a bunch of black blood which you need for making the acid arrows as well as a few levels of sorcery. Then we go back up this way. We can hack him up. Got nothing. Typical. Couple more dudes that you can kill. I'll just admin kill him. There's nothing particularly in this giant chasm so there's no point of venturing anywhere. There's like a gold and silver box on one of those ledges. But what we're looking for is basically right underneath that hole um whoops i forgot it was in an admin mode you want to climb up here 
it's quite easy to climb up and find this box, which as you can see has a legendary weapon in it that is already unlocked. So we just got a back to Coven, which was an agility warhammer, fucking excellent, and some other legendary goody kind of things. And that's going to respawn pretty regularly. So as you are farming your black blood tools, you can now quite easily farm here. You can also jump down this way if you so desire from the top here. But now we have exited that cave, we go from there back down. And you can do these in any order also. This cave links to the next cave. You go through and essentially kill all the dudes as you do and hack them up and get your black blood or whatever you want from them. A couple of gold and silver boxes in here, but nothing particularly to write home about. And then we get to this kind of like bit. What you want to do is go down this way. Well, you can go down the other way. I just always go down this way like this. Follow the path down all the way to the bottom, killing you guys along the way because they actually come in really annoying when you're fighting the boss right here. He tends to be a little bit more hardcore than the other ones for some reason. I get all of the stamina regen because I have a lot of grit right now and I'm also wearing stamina regen pants, the Godbreaker pants. So it is quite easy for me to just kind of stand there and tank. That might not be your case. He gave us the hollow burn bow, which now I do believe does use other arrows. It doesn't just use hollow burn. Let's drop this crap. It's going to give you a pretty decent chance of getting some more black blood. Now this cavern is essentially a dead end. So what you want to do is make your way back up the way you came. And this is why you want to bring a torch because yeah, it it's fun without one. I've done it a bunch of times, but it sucks. Sucks so much. Doable sucks. And now instead of going back up there, which is west we came, we go this way. I usually go to the volcano obelisk and run down, do Binyak and Sil first and do this kind of trip. That's why I go this way, because that's how I do it. You can go from down south for sure. Like, I don't know what obelisk you're going to. Maybe the swamp obelisk and going through the this area, because that kind of leads you to right here also. But there's, again, not much to write home about in here. And then we're at this cave entrance. We want to run down the hill to this one down here. You can also just leave the one you came in and just head down to here, but I do find it a little easier to not get lost and confused to do it this way. Die, everyone. <laughs> so flappy. Could put my torch away also, but why would I do that? Healing's nice, if you like. If I ever rode horses, I'm sure it would be handy to use them in this occasion. I just played the game for so long before they existed that like I just, it's so hard to make them part of my routine. <laughs> And like, I get them killed so often. Ugh. The IHP has been a little bit buffed though, so maybe. Maybe I'll be a horse lady one day. And that was so annoying and cheesy in PvP for so long that it was like a moral stand. But anyway, I digress. We've finally come to the last boss. That was dramatic. No, stop with your drama, all of you. <laughs> if you didn't have a lot of armor, you'd be getting pretty like railed right now. So be warned. Just for the sake of the video. Yeah, go away you. I gotta run over here and heal and take you out. Definitely something with Sunder's nice because it makes them go down a lot quicker. There's a couple more dudes up there with some more gold and silver boxes. Again, nothing to write home about. But this guy, he's the particular guy that drops the ammunition or recipe for acid arrows. He will also drop a skeleton key and a fragment of power always. And sometimes he will also drop like the hollow bone bow or the act of violence or the unwelcome gift, much like the other guy. In fact, they may have changed that. I'll have to kill him a few more times. Don't hold me to that. But that other guy can pretty much drop those range of things as well. And then right behind him, we've got this box, which used to be a legendary key box, but now we just get a legendary weapon and don't have to use any key, which we fucking love. So I advise coming here to these anyway, to just grind legendary weapons and not having to do full ass dungeons. And acid arrows are an excellent defense and offense especially in PvP. So harvesting a lot of them is like kind of handy and you also need a lot of volatile glands and you can kill the dragon just up the hill for them. There's a blue dragon just up here. 
you need to stop being like this, all of you. But yeah, that's essentially how you get black blood tools when the merchants aren't at Mechamosis. And I really hope this was helpful for people who didn't know. And for the people who did know, at least now you know that it's worth coming here anyway, even though Obsidian is actually equivalent. It just has less durability. It's like slightly less equivalent. And like oils are better to put on black blood tools, but they originally gained popularity because they gave you a survival perk, which enabled you to harvest stuff quicker we don't even have survival anymore and most of the time just use obsidian if you can't be bothered getting this shit or even star metal it's four times unofficial like what if you're on single player and you're playing on one time you're mental i'm just saying i like a nice balance two times personally i didn't i didn't think that was horrible i hated one times i thought that was stupid but yeah two times wasn't bad i'm digressing again come here check out the area it's pretty easy these little caves you can do a little loop of them come kill the dragon up here wherever he be he's around here somewhere there he is he does poison so you can poison him there's also a little bit of black ice just over here which is quite handy and a little bit more around the area and you can also enter the volcano through this cave and just run down the green wall to those caves it's a really easy process in fact probably easier than farming all that other shit and i'll have my thrall videos coming out soon on where you can get all the thralls now you can't just buy them i have been putting it off for a long ass time but yeah if you found this information informative smash that like and subscribe button if you're not already and until next time